Hello and welcome to another little unboxing video. Um, this one's actually really quite interesting because it's a Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch is an interesting console. So let's just get things out of the box. As you can see, everything's really quite nicely packaged. You've got the main console itself here and the two Joy-Con. And then remove this. And underneath we have the uh, Joy-Con grip. We've got one, two little uh, attachments so that this is a bit better to hold, and it's got the um, it's got the wrist strap in it. This is going to be the dock. Yep, that's a dock. That was a loud bang, and then of course you've got a HDMI cable because you haven't got half a dozen of those already, and we have. our power adapter. So now that everything is out of the box, let's take a look at you know all of the features and things. As you can see, I'm actually already making use of the kickstand underneath behind the switch. And you know that's gonna be pretty useful for one of the three modes of use that Nintendo have envisioned. Of course, one of those things is that you can just pick it up, put the thing down, and then it just slides into the dock like this, and it's quite a satisfying feel. There you go, it guides the console in quite nicely and is very easy to take back out again. There we go, it's a good one. And once the hardware is up and running, once it's turned on, that is quite nice and easy to do. At the moment we've got the two Joy-Con attached, but detaching them is quite simple. There's a little button on the back of each there, and you depress that, and it releases a little latch and it comes off. So there you go, it was very nice and simple. And then you can attach it to the Joy-Con grip. Now, as we discovered, this is not the charge grip, it doesn't have a battery, it's just a simple plastic shell, and it keeps the things attached. It's fairly simple, nice enough, it does the job and it's quite nice and comfortable to hold in your hand. As you can see, the two controllers are trying to connect, but the console isn't on yet, calm down. Also in the box were the two little grips for when you want to play uh, two player and when you would want to do the motion control stuff. And these are actually quite nice and clever because they've got a plus on one side and a minus on the other and that means that if it's the minus controller, the left one, then you want to slide with the minus facing forwards. If it's the plus, you want to slide it with the plus facing forwards. So they are, they're not specific to either Joy-Con, they're just general purpose. Uh, they cost a few quid if you need to buy a few more. And they're quite nice and they make the console, and they make the controller feel a little bit nicer in the hands, just because you've got a little bit more controller to hold, actually. That's basically all it adds up to. Okay, so, let's, this one is giving me trouble. Okay, so taking a look at the dock itself, this is actually very nice and simple. So you can see there's just a slot down the side for the console to go into. Let's see if I can get a better angle, there we go. Um, inside, it's very difficult to make out because it's dark and it's black plastic. Uh, there is the guiding mechanism onto the USB-C and then there's just this little back panel and as you see HDMI there, USB that's got the little blue tongue which means it's USB 3 and the AC power adapter it's just USB-C this does power pass through basically you can use the exact same adapter whether you are on the go or whether it's plugged into here and what's clever about this is that the cables are rooted out of the back there so it's a very nice simple and efficient design oh and last but not least on the side you have to uh, plain old USB 2.0. And then the console itself, it is, 
yeah, I really like the way it feels, especially, obviously, it's a little more awkward when you're holding it with the rails, but with the Joy-Con, it's nice and solid feeling in hand. Uh, on the front, this is, I think it's got to be plastic. I had the same kind of feeling with the PlayStation Vita, where it was plastic front instead of a Gorilla Glass front, and it just doesn't feel quite as smooth as like a smartphone, like a Samsung or Apple phone. Uh, these two little nooks, those are for the uh, loudspeakers, and they do get pretty quite, and they do get quite loud at times. And here, you won't be able to make it out. There is a slight discoloration, and that is where the front-facing camera is. On the bottom, all you've got is the USB-C, the little divots for the guiding rail when you put it into the dock. And then that's the kickstand, and there is the micro SD card slot. And that is how you will be able to add, well, up to two terabytes, but there's only 256 gigabyte micro SD cards at the moment. On the back, you've got the nice Nintendo Switch logo so that people know exactly what you're playing. Top power button, uh, volume control, a big fan grill, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Headphone jack, and then this is where the game cards go in. And if you want to use cartridges as opposed to digital downloads, obviously you can mix and match. So then, let's turn the console on for the first time. Nice. Let's go with English. Europe. Eh. We'll skip this for now. Uh, oh, no, I went the wrong way. Let's do networks later. And then, yep. Yeah. London, Lisbon, that's fine. It's January the 1st in this house. And we could do it on TV. We will cut back and forth, but let's do that later in this video. Okay, so detach the Joy-Con. Use the left stick to select next. And then press A on the right controller. Use the console. Good, good. Tabletop mode is what we're doing. Let's see. I'll be a squid. And of course, let's do it on here actually. T. Oop. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> Could add more users, but for now, let's carry on. I am not a parent, nor do I have kids. And setup is now complete. Right, here is the system software, and this is nice. I absolutely adore everything about the system that I've seen so far. I've had a little play around with it before and during doing this video, and this is my favorite one. A little call and response as you get to your profile page. And you know what, I'm gonna change my nickname. I'm not happy with Tefo9N, because that's not what I generally go by. There we go, that's much better. And you can edit the icon if you want. Let's put this on ooh, slightly darker red background. And actually, you know what, I'm gonna... Yeah, that's the one. And that is saved. Uh, there's some things that we're not allowed to talk about, including uh, anything to do with online because that that is dependent on a system update. So no, I can't look at the news, I can't visit the eShop, but I can go into the album. And this is how you can do little bits of editing of photos. This is where you're gonna be sharing stuff. But for now, let's take a little screenshot of the homepage, done. Album, in the album, ah, edit and posting. Let's add some text. Oh, switch. Make a 
it a little bit. No, keep it that size. Change the position. Ah, okay, you can't do multi-touch on this. There we go. Change the color. Pink. Done. That's great. It's really, uh, yeah, it's nice and simple. I'm hoping that they add a few more features to that because that would be quite cool. Um, let's see, controllers. Another nice little cute sound. And this is where you can change the grip or the, like, which controller um, is for which player, I guess. So then I've got the two controllers. They are separate. And if I want to do multiplayer, I press the two shoulder buttons. That is now player one. This is now... Come on, player two. There we go. Press that when I'm ready. And now, like, the X button acts as A and the A button acts as B. So that's clever. That's a nice little setup. All right, heading into the system settings. Uh, yeah, let's go. Like, support. Got a QR code. That's not live yet. Flight mode for if you are going flying, automatic brightness, always good. The screen lock, parental controls, internet, data management. Got the user settings, and you can set it so that once you turn it on, it just goes straight to you. Uh, you can add a me, actually, let's do that now. Pick a likeness. Yeah, that's pretty close to me. <laughs> Done. Ooh. Because she looks like someone that's going, ooh. Got the old Amiibo. Ah, themes. Switch from basic white to basic black. That's cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to there being more themes. Uh, Nintendo are a very good theme game on the 3DS, so they're bound to be that. A few notifications, obviously we want to see more of those for like friends coming online and stuff like that. Auto sleep. The TV output. Controllers and sensors just in case. And system setup if you need to change those or completely reformat the console. Okay, and last but not least, you've got a quick menu. So if you hold down the home button on the right Joy-Con, it pops up on the right-hand side. And from here, you can uh, turn on flight mode. And that actually seems to... Of course it does. Okay, flight mode, obviously. As soon as you engage flight mode, it has to turn off the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or whatever, and that cuts out the controller support. That is a little bit unexpected, but okay. Obviously, if it's then attached to the side, then it's still going to carry on working, but, you know, that's, that's cool. That's interesting. One last thing before I put this to sleep. If you tap on the battery, it shows you how much percent you've got, but otherwise you've just got a little icon. And now, let's go to sleep. Goodbye! Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the Nintendo Switch. Uh, hardware unboxing, and... We'll see you again soon. Goodbye!